Hey guys, it's Rudy T with Rude Dog Life coming to you with another tool haul. Uh, we went to an estate sale today and uh, we were like second or third in line and the weather was so bad so not a lot of people showed up and I was the only one in the garage for about 30 minutes. A lot of woodworking stuff, a lot of woodworking tools um, and this is what I picked up. Um, got it for 35 bucks and um, yeah I, I, let me share it with you and tell me what you think um, it was a good day um, although with the weather uh, we had to get out of there pretty quick and uh, but I think I found some good stuff so let's get started uh, we got a couple of egg beater drills here this is the first one it's uh, it's probably about eight inches long and there's no markings that I can find on here no makers marks of any kind um, it works great um, this might be right here there might be a makers mark but I cannot see it a hundred percent so once I clean that up maybe I will but overall I mean look at the handle pretty good condition um, there's rust here rust here obviously this is rusted um, but it operates well operates well so I'm gonna clean it up see what happens um, maybe uh, maybe you know paint it I don't know but uh, it does look good just all by itself you know it's complete it's got all the handles so pretty cool little find huh what do you think all right next one this one's a little bit bigger probably about nine inches or so um, this one is a Stanley Yankee uh, one four three. I'm sorry, not one four four three one A. Um, I think I can get that to focus. Maybe not, but there it is. Um, this one operates a little rough. Um, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but this has got a lot of sawdust or something in here um, with some heavy looks like you know they obviously grease it or something but everything else I mean everything works great everything works as it's supposed to again complete got both handles no cracks no breaks uh, it just runs a little rough I mean I'll get this thing cleaned up and it should work well so neat little find on these two little egg beaters don't run around run across these small ones very often so I uh, was super excited to see those there you go red handle all right next thing we got here is a draw knife this is a I believe it's a pexto I found the marking I uh, don't know if that's gonna focus in there but it's a nine inch blade uh, it does have some patina <laughs> surfaces rust uh, the handles not bad got wear um, but no cracks, no breaks, no missing pieces, no chips. Um, you know, intact. So this one, this one should clean up um, pretty nice. I mean, it's going to be rough. I mean, because there is some pitting up here, but no chips, no breaks on the blade. It's straight, no bends. So decent looking. There you go. Nine inch Pexto draw knife. So, I think that one will do great. Okay, found a bunch of uh, these little ball peen hammers. Let me get them out here so we can take a look at them. Um, this first one, uh, it has no uh, maker mark on it, but it's a nice little uh, ball peen hammer. Good size. It's got a blue handle. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. Uh, I don't know if that's significant to somebody. I know Proto is, I think, green. Uh, I don't know who blue is or if somebody just painted this blue. But uh, the head's in good shape. It just needs to be cleaned. And it looks like the handle's in pretty good shape. So might just uh, might just sand this bad boy down or leave it like it is and put some linseed oil on it. Who knows? Nice little, nice little ball-peen hammer. All right, this next one, um, it's a Stanley. I don't know if you can see that. And there is a number on it, but I cannot read it. 
it's got some surface rust on it let me see uh, made in the USA no but it's a small one nice little handle um, again doesn't look like uh, there's any breaks on it or uh, you know splits so this might be just a, a cleaner upper maybe sand it down some linseed and got a nice little Stanley uh, ball peen hammer uh, we got another ball peen a little bit bigger than the first one so but this one is also a Stanley there you go so super nice head the head is really nice not a whole lot of mushrooming dinging anything like that but unfortunately the handle is pretty jacked up so it's got a nice crack right here it goes here um, and then it's split right there I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up so this handle will have to be replaced but that'll be a good project so there you go another Stanley uh, little ball peen hammer okay this little tack hammer um, I just thought it was cool um, I think it's probably a sheet metal just based on this back part here some sort of sheet metal type hammer um, if somebody knows please let me know in the comments uh, didn't see a maker mark on it either it's got it's got some surface rust it's gonna need to be cleaned up um, but it seems solid there's no damage no no you know no dings or mushrooming or anything like that and it also needs a new handle so that one should be a fun little project so but uh, I believe it is I believe it is a tinsmith or sheet metal something like that type hammer all right I don't know why I get these all the time but I do um, not these two but I, I constantly pick these up these little Jacobs keys for drills and drill presses uh, I probably have about 40 of them, 50 of them. Um, sometimes I do resell these. Um, they're just good to have because, you know, I do have a bunch of old drills. Uh, somebody asked me, you know, my neighbors might ask me, um, do I have one? You know, you always have them. And, and they seem to be, uh, when you put them in, your, in, your, in with your stuff, they don't charge you for them. So I got five of them here. Um, so looks like half inch eighths and then maybe quarter uh, I believe that's what that is so little Jacobs keys and then these two there's no maker mark on them they just say USA um, I believe these are tap keys uh, for taps so large and small so I didn't see uh, any taps with them but these were on the workbench um, so I usually pick these up as well you never know when you might need these Okay, next thing, uh, no bits for it, but this Craftsman, um, it's a number 43373 uh, bit driver, so I do have bits, this one just didn't have bits um, that came with it, so, but, uh, yeah, it, when you look at it in the grand scheme of things, it probably cost me 50 cents, so, and it's in excellent condition, so, pick that up. Um, I grabbed a couple of these uh, tin snips. I got a pair of Y's, and uh, I believe these are called Duckbill. Yeah, let's see. Y's inlaid. Uh, no, let's see. Oh, 90B looks like it on here for the number. 90B. So, looks they look good. Um, the blades are in, are in really good condition. No, no dings or dents or chips. Um, just some surface rust. So get these bad boys cleaned up, and it'll be a good working pair. Uh, these are straight cut, I believe, uh, but no, no maker mark on them. Uh, oh, I take that back. I just seen it right there. I don't know if you can make it out. It's Craftsman okay there you go all right that's nice um blades are a little rough a little ragged but uh, i'm sure a little file straighten that out um will do great sharpen it up i don't know if you can pick that up well there you have it a little craftsman pair of straight tin snips and then last but not least this is a uh goodell 
Pratt Company, Greenfield, Massachusetts, made in USA. So a little push drill. It's got some. It's got some corrosion. I believe this is aluminum. So uh, it works. But I'm gonna have to clean that up. So and if you can hear, it's got some blades with it. So um, let me see if I can figure out how to open this up. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's it's tight on there. It is super tight. Yeah, there must be some corrosion. Sorry about that. I won't waste your time trying to get that get that open right now. But um, these are just cool. I like them, uh, especially when they come with bits because uh, you can use these on other push drills. The bits, and uh, yeah, be I'm excited to see what's in there. It just needs to be cleaned up. The handle is in really good shape. It just has some gunk on it. But uh, it should clean up and that corrosion should come right off. So what do you guys think? 35 bucks for these tools. Not too bad. Um, I think I did pretty good. Got a lot of woodworking stuff here. Nice hammer. Some things to work on a project with. So let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, I appreciate uh, you watching. Um, I just wanted to get this one out.